Engage to Zelda Walk by Moosh gets a grade of a 5 out of 5. Now I'm going to spend the next few minutes explaining why. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have any quest footage to actually use on hand, so you're just going to get a boring Zelda classic screen with no music, as usual. Um, Engage to Zelda Walk is a mini quest. Um, pretty much, you go through three separate areas, you obtain Triforce, and... Um, you go to the final area, final boss, escape, and all that fun stuff. Yada yada yada. It's a, it's kind of like the standard, follows the standard way, but kind of doesn't. And I will explain why in a moment. Um, unlike the regular Zelda format, you actually play as Zelda herself, and you're going to say you're going after Link. And I'm going to say this now for anyone that's not played this: this is not the Wand of Gamelon. Get that idea out of your dirty head. Don't even think about. Don't don't put this in the same group as that game because that game doesn't even exist. All right. So what's so different about this quest? Well, you're playing as Zelda. It's like, oh, you gave Zelda a sword. You know, it's like Link's retirement too. No, Zelda has special powers. Ooh, yeah. This actually plays kind of like Zelda too. Like what Moosh did was basically took some concepts from other games, like Zelda two, and then. Add some scripts and it, it it really worked out quite well to be honest. It's 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 pretty fun. I've played through it twice now. There's actually more content added, which I'm I'm not basing this review of that um, because I haven't done that yet. But uh, I've done the actual original release, and that's what I'm basing this off of. And um, this is actually really enjoyable. Um, there is multiple endings. I'm not going to spoil how you get the multiple endings unless you watch my video, in which case. There we go. But there are multiple ways of actually doing it. Um, but yeah, Zelda has these powers. She shoots like these, like a, like a barrage of beams in one direction, which is not your typical sword. <laughs> or and it also has the power to aim at a specific spot using the mouse, which if you have your mouse to cause the entire thing to go purple like mine does, it's not going to work. So you need to disable that before you play this quest. Just letting you know ahead of time. But yeah, you go through three different areas. They all they each have kind of a, like a different themeish type area. Um, there is no money in this game. It's it's actually experience. The rupees are like experience and stuff like that. You collect that. Um, you'll have like you in seeing your rupee slot. You'll have like a number out of a number, and the number is the number you have out of a number is the number you get to ex to upgrade your level. You just basically start with like one heart, one one magic, like the magic is the amount of uh, like the time you can fire your beam and then when you run out it you gotta refill back up to normal. Um, every time you level up it, it, it doesn't order the things level up like you'll le you'll level your life up first and then you'll probably think you'll level your magic, maybe level your life up again, then level up your attack power and you slowly level each one up till they're all 9, 9, and 9. And grand the experience levels increase. Um, it's not it's not straight diagonal. It's, it actually curves upwards. So you'll need to get a lot of experience for those for those higher ones. Now, one thing to bear in mind with this quest um, for all you F6 abusers out there like myself, you don't want to be doing that this time <laughs> because if you when you F6, your experience resets to zero. <laughs> Yeah. The granted the levels you've earned stay this there, but the experience points you currently have zeroed out. Kind of like in Zelda 2 when you get game over. You don't take the experience with you. <laughs> you start back at zero and you keep going again. But it re really works out so that you can't just warp everywhere using F6. Now there are different items you can collect for different endings. Supposedly it actually changed a bit with the new version. I'm not entirely sure about that, but based on what I played how you I mean you have basically three way three endings basically three endings there's like the bad ending the good ending and the best ending granted I never got the good ending I got the bad and the best <sighs> god I'm terrible at this um <laughs> so let's go over a few things dungeon design well it's kind of it's a kind of a this quest is more actually of an all dungeon quest and the design wise as far as room layouts go pretty well um you got lots of stuff to go around. You got enemies, enemy difficulty throughout it. It's not that bad either. 
you actually have the ability to refill your health if you have if you use some of your experience. So there's also that. So enemy difficulty if you if you have like a ton of experience, it could get really really easy, especially towards the end. So there's you so enemy difficulty dungeon design pretty well done. Um, story uh, also very well done makes sense. Um, you know, I've played a lot of quests that don't have makes a story that makes a lot of sense, and there's that problem there. Uh, let's see. Anything else? This is no dungeon quest. There's no really overworld. Secrets. Obviously, you got the good and better ending. You're going to need to know, figure out, try to get the idea of what you're supposed to do to get those endings. You, you'll probably figure it out. Um, you don't, I think it says, hey, you check the help thread as well. Um, but overall, I've really enjoyed this quest. It's, it, it just... It's just something fun to pick up again, and of course I gotta pick it up now that it's been updated. But uh, that'll be up in the coming days. But overall, I I can't think of anything really bad to say about this quest. When it comes to Moosh quests, I usually get a little nervous because it's usually designed to kill me a lot. Um, this quest didn't really kill me a lot. Well, okay, I did it did quite a bit at one at towards the beginning because I did get careless and greedy with some enemies, but. Uh, Overall, I really enjoyed this quest, and I would recommend you play this quest if you haven't, because there's just totally a lot of fun. I say it's a lot of fun, and that's all I can say. It's like, I'm not very good at reviewing like normal people do. I don't I don't prepare notes beforehand, I just say what's on my mind, and that's how I do it. Uh, so, yeah, 5 out of 5. Really enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to see you make some totally amazing, awesome other quests come out in the near future. Uh, what? No, oh, like Link's Quest for Canada. Oh god, that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm shivering just thinking about that one. Uh, shivering in the, in the. Oh god, it's gonna kill me, but oh god, it's gonna be good. Way. So that's it, and yeah.